Hey guys, welcome back to the show. It's Chris Orta. Today I'm here with another Chris that you may know pretty well, Father Chris. Want to say hi? Hi. Hi everybody in television land. We're not on television. Oh, it's not television. Shoot. I'm so showing my age, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so how has this quarantine been treating you? I have a feeling your life is drastically different it than is, normal. It is very different, yes, yes. Going from you know celebrating daily masses, having a lot of meetings and appointments, um, to not having anybody in the church and not being able to do all the normal priestly ministry stuff, it's been a very big change. I've heard a lot of other priests say the same thing. It's like, what do you do all day? Well, you remember like uh, when I'm really busy, I always wish that I had time to do other things. And now that I'm not busy, I'm still not doing those other things. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> totally. The, um, I haven't even put books on my shelves yet. There's, here's an example of something I could have done and haven't done yet. Yes. <clears throat> I assume they're not here because you're reading them all. That mm. must be what it is. That's a lot of it, yes. Yeah. I have a whole shelf of just books I want to read. And the problem is I buy more books than I read. So the, 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 the stack gets longer. I don't know what that means. That must be a metaphor for something that I can't think of. <laughs> <laughs> I love books, let's put it that way, but uh, I don't have as much time to read as I would like. No. I do now, but am I reading more? So most of us don't really know how priests function outside of the, the context of, of the parish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like it's kind of like a tree falls in the forest situation. That's right. Do you guys say Mass for yourself? Is that a thing you guys do? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, uh, Bishop Van uh, highly encouraged all of us to celebrate our own private masses. I don't have to have a congregation to say mass. No. Now, that's the that's the preferred way to do it. And to be honest with you, celebrating mass by myself is not nearly as enjoyable as it is when there are people in the congregation and people are re responding and singing and or doing all the normal stuff that happens at mass. Yeah. But yeah, I still morning prayer, uh, daily mass. Uh, I still have office work. You know, there's still lots of emails and stuff to go yeah. through. Um, but really, a lot of the things that I would spend people things, there's no people. You know, I've got a couple of couple of people on staff, but nobody comes to the rectory. Nobody comes to church, so the people stuff has kind of dropped off to almost nothing. Yeah. When um, I'm just curious, like when it comes to mass, because all of us, I'm new to this life without mass thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Because you priests are doing Mass, like grace-wise, is there like little mini explosions of grace going on around us even though we don't get to attend? Is there like a... Yeah, because every, every Mass uh, is still um, infinitely powerful. Even if there's only one person experiencing it, it, it we're still praying for whatever the, the intention for that Mass is. Uh, we're still praying for our parishes, our families, our community, you know, whoever it is that's on our mind in the time that we're, we're offering up the sacrifice. We're, you know, it's not just, we're not doing it for our own sake. We're doing it because it's like Christ didn't die for his own sake. He died for us. Yeah. The priests don't celebrate Mass for themselves just for their own sake. We're celebrating Mass for people. Even if there's no people. Right. <laughs> it's them. like you're, you guys are like on the uh, engine deck. Oh, I was about to say of the Titanic, which isn't a very good no, metaphor. No, 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 don't use that. But of the ship, like, right? Yeah. We might not be down there, but you guys are still getting... We're stoking the coal and yeah. the furnace. And... Right, <laughs> essentially. That's true. But it's the same sort of thing, like, with the uh, cloistered religious orders, you know, mm -hmm. nuns and priests and stuff. You have no idea what they do all day long, but they're praying for the rest of the world, and they, they, they provide a very important function yeah. for the church, even though it's hidden. Yeah. We have to believe that that's essential. Who knows... What would happen if all of them stopped praying? For exactly. Them? Maybe it's the grease that has been keeping the whole world running. We don't even know. <laughs> Could very well be. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I mean, celebrating mass by myself is, is unusual, but um, I like doing it when I as a as something different for when I'm celebrating mass publicly. You know, like on my day off when I don't have a public mass to do, when things are normal. Um, I enjoy saying a private mass because I don't I don't have to prepare a homily. It's no I don't have to I don't have to be like on stage. Um, but when it's only private masses all the time, that's that's right. not the best experience of mass, you know. Yeah, for you it used to be a nice change of pace, maybe a way right. to like 
relaxed and center. And right, right. It could be more, more uh, contemplative. You know, I could take as much time with it as I want, you know, as opposed to I have a half hour and these people want to get in and get out, you know, yeah. for daily mass. But if I want a daily mass to take some time or I can, you know, pause after the consecration and, and, and pray with our Lord there and not just, yeah. you know, zip through communion and be done with mass, it's nice to be able to take that time. Yeah.